Hello, my students. Today I'm going to read this book, Guess Whose Shadow by Stephen R. Swinburne. Now here is the title of the book. Here is the author, and this is an illustration. Guess Whose Shadow. These are all photographs of shadows. Your assignment today will be to take a picture of a shadow. Shadows are everywhere. Once you know they are there, you can find lots of them. You have a shadow too. Your shadow follows you wherever you go. Your shadow can be in front of you. Your shadow can be behind you, below you, or next to you. But it is always there. Your shadow appears when sunshine or other light falls on you. The shaded or dark area behind you is called a shadow. If the sun is shining, anything will have a shadow. Some shadows are big, some shadows are small. You can play a game with shadows. You can go on a shadow hunt. Can you guess whose shadow? There it is, a little girl with a plane. Guess whose shadow? Looks like a lawn ornament flamingo to me. Oh, it's a real bird. Would you look at that? Beautiful. Guess whose shadow? Oh, I know this one. Guess whose shadow? Guess whose shadow? Guess whose shadow? Guess whose shadow? <laughs> Some days it's cloudy and you can't find your shadow. But soon the sun shines and your shadow is right by your side. Shadows make great sunny day friends. Okay, so your photography assignment today is going to be to uh, go outside. Of course, right now we are um, in a shelter in because of COVID-19. So you want to socially distant distance. Um, you can go into your yard or as long as you're, you know, six feet apart, um, maybe even wearing your mask, you might want to um, take a photograph of one object, um, maybe your favorite toy. 
um, or something that tells your quarantine story, I want you to express yourself and I want you to use um, the shadow as inspiration for your photograph. Okay, now send me your photos. Um, you can do that three ways. You can copy it into a Google slide. Um, you can add it, add the file to a Google form. I will have that in the Google Classroom. Or you can simply attach it to the assignment in Google Classroom. I look forward to seeing your shadow pictures. Um, one other thing, I'll also link the um, Flipgrid. It's flipgrid.com slash Hungerford. And you can submit your work that way. I love to see your work. Thank you so much for sharing. Keep up the good work. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and add some comments um, on YouTube or in Google Classroom.